Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 2 and the free-headed serpent mission set in Santa Fortuna. And today we will be taking care of the bait and switch challenge, which entails uh, distracting uh, Martinez with a love letter so that we can throw her off a balcony. So for this one, we are going to be bringing with us our trusty lockpick, our coins, and our silence pistol. Although I don't think we actually end up using the lockpick. And upon achieving this uh, uh, assassination challenge, we will also get the don't shoot the messenger discovery or feat for finding the letter. So, right from the start, off the bat, what we're going to do is we are going to go and take out Rico Delgado and George Franco before we move on to the bait and switch challenge. So, I am going to make my way all the way through the village and down to the construction site and then round the back of the construction site and on to the hippo enclosure. So, we're going to... Once we get to the bus, we're just going to veer off into the jungle all the way around till we get to the river and we're going to shoot the rope holding the uh, large log just on the other side of the river there and that will release the log and that will then in turn create a footbridge for us. And once that's in position, we can make our way across and round to our right and we're going to bypass the construction site completely head our way up in, into the ruins so straight ahead of us all the way we'll go past the entrance to the secret tunnels down the steps the other side around to our right and into the temple complex in here there are two guards but we're just going to run past them around to the right at this point we can stand up and start running normally and we're going to head straight for the hippo enclosure and if we're quick enough the, the guard who's on duty here will be alone so we can bolt straight out of our hidey hole there up behind the guard render him unconscious grab his gun grab his body and back into our dark little cave and what we're going to do is once the uh, mansion guard is safely tucked up around about here we're going to put on his outfit we're going to run back to the hippo enclosure and we're going to grab the meaty bone off of the shelf and throw that into the enclosure that will get the hippo to come out and we're going to retrieve this knife that's just on the table there we'll use that for delgado and we're going to retrieve our unconscious mansion guard and we're going to hide him in the crate in the altar room and basically everything is now set up. All we have to do is wait. And we're waiting for the Hippo Whisperer to return. He will see that the Hippo is out of her enclosure and he will go and fetch Rico Delgado and bring him to us. So he's now going to make his way off. He's going to go and locate Rico Delgado. This can sometimes take a few minutes. But as you can see, Rico Delgado has now arrived along with the Hippo Whisperer. So conclude his business with the Hippo Whisperer before dismissing him. And then he will then turn back to the Hippo and present himself a target to us. So he's now just dismissed the Hippo Wrangler, or the Hippo Whisperer, the Fraud. So once this guy has made it up and out, the side, out of sight and up the stairs, we're just going to walk up behind Delgado and cut his throat. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. And we'll feed him to his precious Hippo. So that's Delgado taken care of, so we're now going to move on up the stairs and exit towards the Delgado mansion and take out Franco. Uh, there is an enforcer here, so we're just going to use the knife we picked up 
throw that behind the enforcer so he turns around and we can then make our way across the bridge and we want to make our way along down the pier being very careful around that enforcer just there he does have pretty good vision but if we make it past him safely we can just carry on down this dock or pier area right to the very end where we will find yet another tunnel and this one will lead us to the coca fields so upon exit in the tunnel we're going to hang a right, uh, left use the bushes for cover pull out our silence pistol and we're going to shoot the camera above the door of Franco's little office and with that taken care of as long as Franco isn't around we are going to turn off and then on again the air conditioning unit and that will distract the guy who is currently occupying the hut and when he comes out to investigate we are going to render him unconscious and collect the key he drops so that's him unconscious there we're going to grab the key we're going to hide his body in the crate behind us there we go nice and safe and we're going to make our way into Franco's little hut here using the key we just collected I'm going to pull out our silence pistol and reload it and then we're going to crouch down and get in the box and we are now going to await the arrival of George Franco uh, be aware that when we take out Franco there is a lady who's moving up and down around uh, outside just the wall outside behind us and she can not see through the window if she's looking so just be aware of Franco her location when you down. take your shot. Nice work, 47. But once Franco has entered the room, we can exit the box and shoot him in the head. We're going to hide his body in the box. So that's two targets down, one to go, and we're now going to move on to the bait and switch challenge. So we need to make our way back into the Delgado mansion and we want to go down into the basement area and we want to avoid the enforcers and the cameras so it's best to go between the two sets of stairs and underneath the right hand set of stairs and we're going to go into the mansion itself up to where the pool table is hang a left through the doors through the doors ahead of us again hang a right and down into the basement now there is an enforcer patrolling around down here and we need to get rid of him so if he stood with his back to us we can run down the stairs and down the corridor and to our left and we're just going to wait by this crate here and what we're going to do is we're going to locate a guard who's limping and that would be the guard you can see on instinct there just sampling some food who's highlighted in bold so we're going to wait for him to go past because he's so close. So here he comes now. He's going to limp his way right the way down this corridor and out another door. And in the meantime, we are going to crouch back down behind our box, select our coins, and aim the coin as high as you can. We want to throw it as far as we possibly can further down the corridor so that when the enforcer who patrols comes back, we can throw the coin distract the enforcer down the corridor ahead of us just so that the other guard who is around the corner to our left doesn't see us knock him out so once the enforcer goes to investigate the coin we can creep up behind him knock him out and we're going to grab his gun grab our coin grab his body and we're going to hide his body in the crate that's in the money room or in the money laundering room or whatever this room is looks like a bank vault just fill your pockets quickly 47 we can go home early so with him now safely tucked up we are once again going to select our coins and we're going to place one coin on the floor somewhere before the door here that door there is the one that the limping guard will go through so with the coin on the floor that will distract him long enough for us to render him unconscious before the door opens and we're in full view of everyone in the next room so all we're doing now is waiting for the return of the limping guard he's making his way back round he just continues round on a loop going between the rec room, this corridor, the corridor opposite us on the right and the kitchens ahead of us. 
but here he comes now so we're gonna let him get past the crossroads in the corridor and once he passes us he should spot the coin and we can knock him out and we are gonna once again collect his gun collect the love letter he drops because we need that we're gonna collect his body and we're gonna hide him in the crate in the money room with his friend and we once we collect the letter that will get us the don't shoot the messenger discovery or feat so with that now all taken care of we can now exit the same way we came in so back up into the museum areas via the stairs we're going to go into the museum bathroom check for the enforcer who is luckily just moving away so we can exit via the window around to our right be aware of all the other enforcers as there are a number of them around and we are going to exit via the scaffolding so we're going to just clip the corner of that building to avoid the camera head for the scaffolding and up and over the wall we go so when we get down on the other side of the wall we're going to make our way over towards Martinez's office so we're just going to select our silence pistol because we do have to take out a couple of cameras the firstly being above the entrance to the Delgado mansion don't need to shoot them both just the one nearest you and then we're going to cut around the back of the jungle area behind the statue and into the village and we're just going to run straight across all the way to the end and hang a left and we're going to stop by this bin right here pull out our gun once again and shoot the camera on the side of Martinez's office compound and then we're going to run at the compound and vault over the wall and now we're over the wall we're just going to crouch down make our way up the stairs as long as Martinez isn't around and we only have to worry about the enforcer who's directly ahead of us there and has his back to us so we're free to jump in the window place the love letter on the in tray on Martinez's desk and jump back out of the window so all we've got to do now is await the arrival of Miss Martinez and she will find the letter how did this end up here? which one of you buffoons left a letter from Hector on my desk? I swear to god when I find out you're dead. I can't believe this. Well, he's persistent, that's for sure. Oh, so well, she's gonna hard. um and ah about this letter a little error. bit before deciding Probably she will read it at the very hair. least. Like and that. she's gonna come out onto Just the balcony to me. read the letter. And that would be the balcony where we are currently oh, located. Let's see what that fool has to tell me. So she's now gonna make her way out onto the balcony here. So we will then leave our position behind the window and reposition ourselves by the door. So that when Martinez comes out, we're able to just close the door behind her, position ourselves behind Martinez. And at any point now, we can just push her off of the balcony. You can Let's wait for listen to what say. she has to say, My but it's not very important and not very much. Food. So over the balcony she goes, and the piranhas will eat well tonight. All targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit. So there you go. That will get you the bait and switch challenge. So like Diana suggests, all we've got to do is make good our escape. And we are going to exit the same way we came in via the wall. And we're going to run round because there is an enforcer at the main entrance to the compound and we're going to make our way through the village and back to our bus stop and wait for our bus home so there you go that is the bait and switch challenge i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video